Time for some tax advice from Manjeet Singh and Kusum Ramchandran of Manjeet Singh CPA PC. Good morning, viewers. I hope everybody has started the new year off on a good note. And uh, today we come to you from our offices in Falls Church, Virginia. I am Kusum Ramachandran, enrolled agent, and with me is Mr. Manjit Singh, CPA. And today he's going to talk to us about the reason why we can't file certain tax returns in January the way we usually did. Folks, uh, good morning. This is Manjit, and thank you for watching us or letting us into your homes. And we'd like to thank uh, Mr. Chandran for allowing us to use this channel to communicate with you guys. Uh, as I'm not sure if everybody is aware or not, but uh, the IRS has come out and said that tax returns cannot be filed on by January 15. Typically, in the past, tax returns, the first tax return that IRS would accept whether it was filed electronically or by mail, was January the 15th. Unfortunately, this year, the IRS has gone to the extent of saying they will not be able to process certain returns till mid-February, which means a February 15th. Specifically, the returns are that cannot be filed before February 15th are the ones that have itemized deductions. Why? The Congress passed the tax law too late. December 27th, if I'm not mistaken, is when President Obama signed the Congress passed bill into law, and which essentially brought, uh, continued forward the tax laws that President Bush had initiated. It is my gut feeling that the IRS had started working on reprogramming their computers as if the bill would not pass or uh, as there was a lot of uh, disagreement between the old, uh, co old Congress and uh, President Obama. Therefore, retooling back to the original state is what's taking time. Tax returns, for example, Schedule A, there was a provision about claiming sales tax on purchase of new vehicle. I don't think that has been extended and that is one of the reasons why the Schedule A where that deduction was claimed is not proper, uh, processable at this time. Uh, certain real estate taxes that were deductible to the extent of $1,000 if you were not itemizing your tax return has, is in a limbo and therefore you cannot file itemized deductions. On the same count, if you look at the first page of the tax return, which is Form 1040, we used to have a deduction for tuition. Either you could claim the tuition, education tuition uh, as a credit or a $4,000 deduction. The Irish computers were reprogrammed to not allow that $4,000 deduction. However, the new bill, designed on December 27, allows us to have that $4,000 deduction. So the IRS has to go back and reprogram the computer to accept that donation deduction. Uh, child, care, uh, child credit, uh, when President Clinton left office and President Bush came in, it was increased from $500 to $1,000 per child under the age of? Kusum? 17. 17. Unfortunately, uh, that was supposed to expire on December 31st. Now, so the IRS refigured their computers not to give that deduction or maybe go back to the $500 that President Clinton had left. Unfortunately, uh, for people who have children, that has been extended to another two years to $1,000. So the IRS computer is not able to accept it before January 15th. So, we also, are the educator expenses, the $250, um, that used to be an above-the-line deduction. There is, uh, it's part of the extender, extender's bill, and therefore they have to reprogram for that deduction as well. So any tax return that has any of these uh, items will have to wait uh, for the IRS to update their programs. And 
it's um, thought that it will be about the middle of February by the time we can start to transmit these tax returns. So folks, we are getting some extra time to get our papers together and be able to get our tax returns done. That's true. Uh, there are, these are the most common deductions that are available, which is causing a hindrance or obstacles in filing the return. There are some more complicated uh, issues, for example, alternative motor vehicle credit, uh, District of Columbia first-time home buyer credit. It applies only to the District of Columbia, no, no other state. Uh, qualified plug-in electric and electric vehicle credit. So don't blame the accountant if you go to his office and they say, sorry, we can't do your taxes yet. It's not us. Blame the Congress. <laughs> they didn't pass the bill on time. And I, I, today, I think we, sh we would uh, stop today Yeah. Uh, before Chandan gets upset that we uh, overstayed our welcome. And next week, we'll bring you some more information. Thank you for watching.